Now you wouldn't normally think that a board game would be that cool in VR, and most people that see clips of Demio don't usually think that it looks that good. And I'm gonna be honest, I know most of you watching this video are gonna look at this and think, yeah, this looks kinda lame. But I'm telling you, as soon as you put on a headset and you're in a basement playing Dungeons and Dragons with the boys in virtual reality, you just get it. Soul, can you zoom in? Your hands are too big for me, man. I can't handle it. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't want my wife to realize that there's men with bigger hands. You get why Demio won Game of the Year. You get why you have more hours in it than Half-Life Alex. But what you don't get is why all of your so-called teammates keep hurting you. Jesus <laughs> fucking <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jeez. So why'd you hurt your own dog? I didn't mean to. Look, I just took two damage because of your stupid ass. Look, bro, he's about to die. Because you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Because literally all you had to do was not do Ooh. anything, and instead, Ooh. you were a dick. Ooh. Unlike a lot of other games, Demio has consistently released free new content since their launch. They started with one dungeon, and now we have like five dungeons, several more playable characters, a hero's hangout social area, and they're adding PvP. All that said, I did hear a rumor that this dungeon, this brand new dungeon that just released, is the last one that they're adding to the game. Okay, so this is the town of ends. Does that have something to do with the fact that this is the last, like, chapter, the last, like, game they're gonna make? And although this dungeon seems to be overall easier than some of the other ones, that's right, I'm looking at you, you disgusting, fat, AIDS-filled, poop-eating. Despite it being easier than some of the other dungeons, we still couldn't beat it on our first try. That's how bad we are at this. Oh, fuck. I really should have done my healing You potion. dare fight me! Oh, you have a healing potion? Yeah, I should have used that, like, two turns ago. Fuck. I thought you were just, like, didn't have a healing potion. I didn't know it was because you were stupid. Hell, we were basically cheating by rejoining every time we died, and even then we couldn't beat it. Isn't that, like, completely gaming the system, though? I mean, a little bit, yeah, but, like... It's not my fault, you suck. And I don't know why this blows my mind in particular, considering this is a fantasy game set in a generic fantasy village, but this update adds NPCs to the game, like actual interactable NPCs that you can hire as mercenaries, get help from, etc. Like, like this is revolutionary. I know it shouldn't be, but to me it feels revolutionary for this game to have NPCs. There's a person here, what? Or there's, a, there's another one here too. This one's sexier looking. Nice little man ponytail, man bun thing going on. Look at, look at yeah, them cheekbones. <laughs> and that man's a total Chad. Suck his dick. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Nothing is more gay Fine. than some straight Fine. dudes hanging out together. Like, you know when you're a kid and you're watching your TV show that does the same exact thing every single episode, but then there's that one episode where it departs from that format and it's something different, and you just get so excited because it's so cool and amazing that they're not doing the same exact thing that they've always done? It seems like they shouldn't even be allowed to do that. That's how I feel about this game having NPCs. Is this an openable door? Bro, I'm gonna I guess think so. no. No, no. I'm gonna guess that's somebody's house, and they would appreciate it if you didn't just barge in like some barbarian to eat their just food and like, you know... But I would, though. Steal their women. So. Oh, it's a lady! It's a wench! Let's see what Aww. she gives me. Goodbye. Take care. That is some triple-A voice acting. Did you hear that? Most of the NPCs are there to help us, but there's one in particular that I'm convinced is just plain evil. Just straight pentagrams on the floor, animal blood sacrifices evil. I don't know what this beggar's problem is, but you know that phrase about how beggars can't be choosers? Well, this guy, this particular guy, he's a chooser, a very, very picky chooser. I don't know what this beggar and wants. Like, give me something useful. I think he wants some money, some coal. It doesn't give me an option cash. to give him money. I don't know what the fuck he wants from me, but you know, he wants something. He's a beggar. Guys, guys, let's give him vortex dust. Dude just wants to get high. I have a water plus. Should I go over there? And you should go over there, make direct eye contact with him, and then drink it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and just be like, this could have been yours, but you were a fucking piece of shit. No matter what we gave him, he was not happy. But you know what he wanted in the end? You know what that old man eventually finally accepted? What? He wanted a bone? <laughs> What is the bone? <laughs> That's right, a bone. An old, nasty bone. Now, I'm not one to judge, but based on how nasty those bones are, I know he wasn't trying to eat it. We can only assume that he won 
So YouTube told me to cut that last part out, so suffice it to say that this old man is a dirty old man. In addition to the NPCs, the new dungeon has a new elven witch running around, throwing rifts all over the place. And these rifts eventually summon more enemies, so if you're not on top of destroying the rifts and eventually the elven witch thing, the whole map just turns into a clusterfuck of never-ending monsters constantly attacking you from all sides. I was trying to think of a really funny joke to that involving like the Rift VR headset, but I couldn't think of one. In addition to the new dungeon and the new enemies, they added a brand new hero, the Barbarian. And I gotta say, this might be my new favorite character. I've always been an assassin up until now, but the Barbarian is pretty dang cool. It has a grappling hook thing that lets you hook onto enemies or objects and pull them towards you. I like this grappling hook, bro. Look at this. Oh, grab him. Come here, boy. For a while, I was really confused about this one card slot in my inventory that did absolutely nothing until I tried using my grappling hook to explode a lamp, and then I realized why that one slot had a lamp icon on it. What the fuck was that? Oh. Oh. What? Oh. What, what are all these O's about? Oh, he's coming. That's, that's, that's his come sound. You can literally grab lamps with the grappling hook, then throw them at enemies. This is like the most mind-blowing thing ever, because lamps used to be like the most useless thing ever, unless you were an archer and they just were placed at the exact right spot. Now, even if they're not placed in the right spot, you can grab them and throw them like literal bombs. Too bad I didn't get a chance to actually try it, though, because we all died soon after I discovered this, thanks to that damn elven witch and their stupid riffs. But even though me and my friends are obviously terrible at this game, it's still one of my all-time favorite VR games, mostly because I have an insatiable itch for something fantasy, an immersive fantasy-style game, and just nothing else has satisfied that itch like Demio has. And until we have a full multiplayer fantasy RPG that's worth playing in VR, I'll just satisfy myself hanging out with the boys in VR Dungeons & Dragons, cosplaying as fantasy pest exterminators. Yeah, you should probably kill the rat. kill the fucking rat? Is that why we're in this town? They hired us to just be, like, exterminators, kill all the pests for them? I'm gonna try and kill this fucking rat.